What's up guys, um, Thaddeus here. I'm currently in Arizona in Sebastian's new apartment. You'll see some of his stuff is actually on the ground back there. Um, and I'm recording uh, just a quick video right now. And basically, you know, after speaking at this event that I got invited to to speak at about dropshipping and you know, e-commerce in general, um, some of those common questions that I got asked, you know, I, I feel like I, I should you know, bring out to, to you guys. <laughs> Well, um, you know, some of it was like, you know, how do I make, how do I make like a drop shipping, you know, store last long for the long term, or how do I, you know, build a long term brand? Um, just a, a lot of the questions that, that I got asked personally, even after the whole e-commerce panel that I was speaking on uh, in front of everyone, is, you know, just a lot, of, a lot of this long term stuff. And I guess what I quickly realized, right, is that especially beginners, when you're getting into drop shipping, and when you first start, you know, um, you know, looking into it, or either making sales and whatnot. Um, you know, I guess the biggest worry is like, how do I how do I make this last? You know, long? how do I create you know a, a sustainable asset that's going to you know continuously help generate you know generate money for myself? Um, and I think a lot of people don't understand, especially you know in the beginning phases, is that once you reach a certain level, guys, a certain point in your in your store, there's a lot of things that you should be outsourcing. Okay, so again, like it, it's important to learn the core fundamentals of of everything surrounding dropshipping because you can transfer that into other industries, which is what I've done. Right, so I've, I've transferred what I've learned in dropshipping and what I took from dropshipping and moved it into white label, moved it into private label, took that into software, and now I have like a bunch of successful software. So, I think I think the biggest problem that people are facing is creating this you know sustainable asset that'll help them diversify, that'll help them move move into you know a, a new industry or you know new new ventures, right? And the biggest thing, guys. So so I'm I'm probably talk about three things in here that that you can take away. So number number one, guys, is you, you really, like for your first stores, you really need to understand your numbers, okay? Um, I can't stress that enough, okay? Because again, a lot, a lot of people like, you'll, you'll launch a shout out for X amount of money, you'll make you know, a certain amount of, of sales, right? Generated from that shout out. Um, you'll think you're in the profit, but really like you don't, you don't know your numbers, you need to know your cost of goods, the cost for, you know, cost per conversion, cost per purchase, you know, if, if you're running, you know, actual paid ads and, and you got to be able to transfer that ability into, you know, the, these influence ads. Because again, guys, there's a lot of people saying that influencers are dead, or influencers are dead. Um, I don't think that's, that's the case, you know, at all. Um, actually, I have a boy, Matthew, that I might interview here, um, you know, later today for an additional video. He, he, he has a, an influence on Instagram of, of over 600 million followers, okay? And all he does is influencers for his stores and he makes a lot of money okay so again influencers are not dead but you just need to be able to because again, influence I, I the only reason people would say influencers are dead is because I guess it's harder to track um, you know the ROI the return on investment for that whereas you know Facebook will literally tell you every single click this is how much it's costing you every single whatever um, whereas influencers you know you throw a shout out and then you just start you know getting traffic or you don't get any traffic and you don't know what's going on if the influencers fake if it was your ad whatever it was right you it's harder to assess you know the sort of the damage right um, which is a big factor now again when you're um, I guess moving on to the next point the the thing that will stop you from building out, you know, these long-term assets and moving into other ventures, right, is you, you guys just spend your money on your first store that you make. Like, I'll, I'll, I talked to a kid actually at the event. He was, I don't know how old he was. I think he was 18 or something like that. But he told me his first store did 33,000 um, in revenue right last month. Okay, which is which is awesome, right? And then he was telling me how he bought his mom like a really really expensive, I think it was a pair of shoes, um, and then he bought himself like a really nice watch. Um, and and I was telling him like you know that's good and all like of course you know treat your family well do you know do all that kind of stuff of course you want to take care of them um, and treat yourself right but it's your first store like you should be using that money to either launch more stores move into a white label private label brand that has better margins or move into a completely different industry and start diversifying and start investing and start you know building out this long term wealth because I think with social media guys and the problem that we're running into with a lot of you know like us kids these days, and I'll admit, like even when I was younger, I, I was stuck in this too, which is why I'm trying to make this video to help you guys out, um, is that when you first start getting like a taste of like success and money, uh, you think you made it, like like you're, like you're this was me after my very first store, like you know, like 72,000 in you know, just over like a month, month and a half. Um, I, was, I was tripping, I was crazy, I was like, oh my God, like I made it, you know, like I'm whatever, 17 or whatever, and you know, I made this amount of money, like I made the person's yearly salary in a month and a half, like holy shit, um, I'm unstoppable, right? And that's good and all, of course, like that, that's a really good feeling once you first, you know, hit these milestones that you set for yourself, but the problem is like, 
you start you start elevating your your lifestyle if that sort of makes sense so it's like the more money you make the more money you spend the more money you make the more money you spend um and that's not what it should be it should be like the more money you you make right you, you're still at this sort of level of of your living i guess right um you're not you know spending more you're not upgrading to a new apartment that you're renting out um all this kind of stuff right um just that, that, that and theory just, like it really just wastes money of course it's like a feel good kind of mechanism but like i guess the strongest thing that you guys should be doing when dropshipping is using that money to either reinvest back into your dropshipping business to make more money or take that money elsewhere to a different store to a different um industry in, in general and just you know again reinvest like invest that um, to create more streams of income guys because again like when I first started like that first successful store, that was my only stream of income at, at 17 right was that big store and then I realized okay crap like I need I need, I need to make a bunch of more stores and that, that's what I did uh, when I realized that like hey like the, some of these products that I'm selling are trendy they're not like trends don't last forever so that means these sales aren't gonna last forever which means you, I need to do something right so um, that, that's also, I guess, a big, um, a big factor. And then, I guess, the third thing, right, um, to sort of build out, you know, and to be successful drop shipping in the long run is have an end goal in mind, guys. You really need to understand what you want to do. Okay, I had a DM literally yesterday. Some guy was telling me he had two sales in four months. Okay, two sales in four months, and the, I, I just don't know. Like, if you if you tell me that, if you told me you only had two sales in four months, mm, what I immediately think is that you were not working on your business for those four months every single day. Not a chance or you'd have more than two sales, okay? Because every single day you'd be trying to improve something, you'd be trying to do something different, you'd be trying to test something different to get more sales, to get more traffic. There's, there's no way that in the span of four months, guys, which is what, 120 days, you got two sales, that's it? And I get it, like, I mean, maybe his website is just very, very, very bad, um, or you know, his marketing, whatever it was. But again, guys, in, in four months, you, you should, if you're constantly trying to improve yourself, constantly trying to learn, constantly trying to like ingest, you know, um, knowledge right about the industry uh, no, that should work so if you think of Ty Lopez but uh, if you're constantly trying to learn right th there's no reason in the span of four months that you only have two sales okay you you should be constantly trying to improve constantly trying to work on either your story yourself your capabilities um, all that kind of stuff okay guys um, and I mean I, with this video in general right, this is like again it's not very like a, a specific like this is how you do something for drop shipping right it's, it's more of like a me, I guess, realizing what a lot of these younger, you know, kids were, were asking me at the event, and I realized, you know, a lot of a lot of my audience here on YouTube is also pretty young, and I want you guys to understand, you know, like especially with dropshipping, it's very easy to get into, like it's very, very not capital intensive, um, and because of that, because it's that way, um, you know, so many people jump into it, and then the second they see, you know, any sort of money come back, they're they're, they're blowing it, they're doing something with it that. You know, um, if you were in a real business that you, you know, that you had to put up $50,000 for, you probably wouldn't be doing the same thing you're doing when you first make that extra $1,000, $2,000. You'd still be, okay, shit, I need to keep going, I need to keep going, um, you know, with that, kind of, with that kind of mindset, okay, guys? So, I guess, I guess that's, that, that's the video. Um, you know, I just wanted to drop a few pointers there and, you know, hopefully kind of take what I, what I learned myself from speaking at this event um, and kind of put it out there for... For you guys uh, for this for this video and then you know I realized also for the YouTube channel guys I'm, I was trying to do one video a day and then I went on this crazy road trip to Arizona doing some crazy content stuff for for myself my personal brand for some other brands that I'm working with for my stores um, all that kind of stuff and then speaking at this event and hanging out with all the other boys um, it was wild it was hectic and you know the I haven't been able to do daily videos but I'm trying again to get back on that as I um, get back to Washington pretty soon and I might be moving into Arizona with uh, some people you guys know so we'll see we'll see how that goes guys and um, as always leave a like okay if you join the video or learn something valuable don't forget to comment or respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe guys I will see you guys in the next video as always guys there's everything that is linked below um, you know free groups all that kind of stuff the course platform which I'm gonna make a video on specifically later just because I haven't actually like told everyone it's live yet it's just like I've just been dropping it um, at the end of you know a few of these newer videos um, and yeah guys I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in the next video this is Sebastian's apartment so you know say hi to him he doesn't know I'm actually recording in here right now I'll tell him later but I'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace